back into his own. Better know where James zone, is. A little swarm. Quarter three, it's bottoms for Collins. This is what you want to see when you run the four at one. And look at the shot fake by James. Draws two green jerseys. Sorry, James, the career high is 20 points. A little bit. Everything is a perimeter jump shot right now, but they're making them. Charlotte's been playing much better after a slow start. And if you're Carrick and Swagler, I think you go to the film and say the first quarter we wish we could file that one away and forget about it nothing there for them to call intentional Beckers back to a cut gets swatted by Collins who is waiting Brooks the crossover the lay is good the paint and great help defense Collins comes over and swipes the shot Collins turns and hits that is a difficult shot in Raleigh. Six and a half minutes for Connecticut to do something about it. Edwards gets blocked. Rivers on attack mode. Nice find to Collins. That's great vision from Sinai. Absolutely, absolutely. The help defender came up. Rivers now. So electric in the lane. Nice kick out to Collins who knocks it in. Maybe Collins is having a year here for NC State. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the ball movement in the one more pass, that's who you talk about. Nice. Hey. Back to a look to James. Wow, Baldwin founder. Packing it in. Fresh off a huge win Friday at Brown. Another turnover for Rhode Island. And here's Brooks in a three-point game. Brooks on the move. Rivers. Goes to the buckets. It's a one-point game. Good effort there by Brooks. Good run by Rivers. Oh, Rivers runs the break and misses. Collins cleans it up for the N1. That's a take advantage in transition if you're NC State. Zoe Brooks analyzing the deal. That was a look. That was like a one-hand no-look pass there. Shania Rivers didn't get the finish, but Mimi Collins ate basketball and running the place through. In the Vanderbilt game, you saw them, you know, someone taking – you know, a defender one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Mimi Collins here with the three. You know, she, she that's another thing that she's added to her arsenal. So, yeah, I mean, here, Mimi Collins spots up, knocks it down. Uh, Fresh off her Rookie of the Week honors in CUSA. NC State distributing the ball well. And Mimi Collins gets involved as she connects on the three. State wants to run in transition. Brooks, what a pass. Collins hits the three. Well, when you're playing with a bunch of upperclassmen, it takes some time for a freshman to adjust to that role. What happens in conference play, even at the end of December in your first game, is the game shrinks, meaning half-court possessions are important. Now, you didn't, oh. you didn't say and oh, one. Gosh. She did say and one. This is a big time move. She gets fouled. She goes and one. James looking inside to Collins. Got the basket. <laughs> Watch how she sprints the middle of the flame. Catches and finishes with a nice pump face. Down low, Collins. Look at the mismatch here. Collins the find. And all pass. Making things happen defensively. Party on both sides of the court. That's four Florida State turnovers in the last three minutes. Collins makes it count for three. Yeah, NC State, I mean, here, Mimi Collins, Coach Moore talked about. Zoe Brooks inserted into the starting lineup, looking inside for Mimi Collins on the break. Great pass from Zoe Brooks. 20 points, 10 rebounds, right about her average for Liz Kitley in this game, trying to keep. Virginia Tech close. Collins says, uh-uh. Massive shot. The good news, Sanaya plays well with both feet. Right. Halfway through this first quarter, all NC State early as Collins extends the lead for three. You see Mimi Collins with the big three here for the Wolfpack. Now Hayes against the zone, finds Collins with the foul. NC State's ball movement, impressive there. We'll see the ball reversed all the way across, four different players, maybe even five touch it right there. There's your fifth. Yes, and Mimi with the fifth.
Cut off by Roberts, then Brooks, then Rivers. Now Collins. Left corner three is good. Still she's having trouble shooting two. Now Brooks looking inside for Collins. Collins has it. Tough shot in traffic. Got it and a foul. Four for eight with 12 points. Nine seconds to go. Glides to the left side. Sets up Collins on a triple try. That's good with three seconds to play. Oh, that's great composure from NC State to get exactly what this league, it's a gauntlet, and both these coaches talked about it. And Collins with the out and out stuff. If you can call it that, pack in the midst of their only rough patch this season. 500 over their past four games on the offensive glass. Collins and one. He did a great job pinning that defender, Day Harris, even though she's much, much smaller. She pinned her underneath that. Ten seconds to go. Collins. Inside, Rivers got behind the Tigers' defense. Made it look easy as she reverses. Final. NC State, 3-2 and two on the road this season. Recent losses at Virginia Tech on a buzzer beater by Liz Kitley. And then Career high, scoring 24 points against Clemson, narrowly missing the double-double. So it just feels like everybody on this roster, and they play a short roster, are finding success. Out in front, Collins got in behind, but missed. But an offensive board for Hayes. Collins' second try is good in the foul. Here's James. Scoring a lot, but also taking a lot of shots lately. Mimi Collins has a very unusual release on that shot, but it works. And the shot clock is off. Usky scored that last basket. Brooks. Collins with the buzzer. Got it! Mimi Collins has become a better all-around basketball player this year. That last foul, by the way, was the third on Cochran, who just fumbled it away. Collins, <laughs> transition threes, Pam. My goodness. Mishandled by Cochran, but she doesn't get her head down. NC State in transition, knocks down the triple. Over to steal. Posting down low is Collins. Collins, her right-handed hook is good. We've seen a couple of right-handed hooks from NC State early. It's more than just a basketball game. Steal by NC State. NC State looking to continue a run that sparked at the end of the first half. So two three-point plays. I think Nell Ford is going to give her about a minute rest and then get her back in this game to see if they can finish strong. Baldwin denied. Collins with a second chance and one. But now would be a great time for her to start to show her dominance inside off the offensive rebound. They forgot to box her out. Good balance for NC State. All five average in double digits. And the corner J is good for Mimi Collins. Give her three. It's a Wolfpack team that's been nearly unbeatable at home. 13-1 and one here in this building. Including an overtime win over Georgia Tech in their last home game. So Mimi Collins starts with a three. Comes out to James. Behind the back, Rivers blocked by Williams. And the intensity here early, Derek's picking up. last season. She's got to be the one. Extra passing here for the Wolfpack. Rivers kicks it. Here's Collins. Bangs in the three. You know, the, the, the pick and roll obviously has given State trouble and just confidence. Like, they believe in themselves. And I felt like in that first quarter, they looked a little defeated, but definitely not in this third quarter. Baldwin swings it. Collins' turn responds for three. But they also have the ability to accelerate through their actions offensively. There's James going back door. Yeah, just working hard, working her defender to get herself open. That's the luxury of the double bye being in the top four during the regular season. Collins. There is it. First time out. Look at the skip right here. All the defense in the paint. Mimi Collins. C State coming in as the number two seed. Started off the season 14 and 0. Went from unranked to a top 10 team. And here's the zone. 27 possessions of man. And Mimi Collins sinks the triple. Hayes does such a good job moving without the ball. They did a good job of getting it into ball. Game. She's got eight points in this quarter.